farm once we have all the vertex in place so i'm just going to left select this one press and hold shift and select this one here press alt m for merge and left select at last okay and i'm going to again select all these and press e to extrude just drag them out slightly and left click to lock that in position i'm going to left select this one here i'm going to press and hold shift and select this one and i'm going to press alt m for merge and at last okay and again i'm just going to do one more for the side of the face i'm just going to select all these press and hold shift and press e and just extrude out slightly okay now it's time to start selecting the vertex and drag them out to the outline of the of the face okay so i'm going to select these and just line them up it can be a slow process it's important to keep a consistent shape running around so width wise and shape wise okay i'm just going to grab some of these maybe increase some of the eye size again it takes patience to get these correct okay i might just drag these back down and just back in slightly Okay, that's just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate. It's not looking too bad at the moment. I'm just going to press 1 for front view. Okay, I'm going to open up another window here. So I'm just going to come up to the top corner here and wait till the cursor turns to this. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button and just drag over here and release and for this one i'm going to press three for side view and as you can see our mask has started just back here i'm just going to press a once or twice to select everything and just drag this forward just in front of his ear okay now this is the tricky part this is where we pull individual points forward in the y direction to form the mask here around this profile and also at the back profile so for example the center line down along here is is going to be in line with this profile here and as you step back along the points it, they also step back along here until you get to the outer edge which is basically this point here okay so i'll for example, I'll select the center. I'm going to grab this in the Y direction and drag it forward until it's in line with the front profile edge of his face. I'm going to select the second one and do exactly the same thing. This is going to be a very slow process and it can all be adjusted over time. It's, it's not... You want to get them close first off that's all they don't have to be perfect and it will be time to readjust okay it's going to reselect that and drag it out slightly Okay, one at a time, dragging them in the Y. So just ensure that you don't have 
it loosely grabbed you want to drag it in the the y direction so make sure you're grabbing the cursor otherwise it could just end up coming off line and cause you trouble later on okay the important thing is just to get them in close to the position we want them okay that's the fur front and center ones done the good thing about the mirror modifier is we only have to do half this face so that's the, the center one I'm going to left select the side one and as you can see both edges are selected so I'm just going to pull this out to roughly where I reckon the next line is going to be and what I'm going to do is mirror so basically this is the front profile the, lo the nose looks a bit messed up at the moment but we can fix that later I'm going to run the next one in line with this okay so it's as the face curves back around this will be my next point so I'm going to select the second and drag this to about here again the third one very same thing drag and run down along the very same way we did the front one just line these up roughly for the moment okay select all of these and drag them forward now this particular one is curving away faster so you will you will slightly be offsetting these as you're coming down along just ever so slightly but again it's not important just just get them close to their final position and obviously the back one can be left where it is okay so I'm going to come back up here now and select the next line and grab these and drag them forward and just roughly estimate where they're going to go okay slow process I might just pause the video here and come back when I have a few more done okay I'll talk okay hello and welcome back and this is more or less what it should look like I'm just gonna quickly grab this here and drag it forward so if you see any dark areas like this that means that one of the vertexes has been pulled into the wrong position and it's just a matter of finding where it is and where it should be so you can see that okay they're not exactly perfectly in position I still have a little bit of point pulling to do but you, it's generally in the right position and when you look at it in front view you can see the shape of the eye and if you look at it in side view it's a little bit narrower but it's it's following the same type of pattern the same with the mouth you can see it in front view it's this type of shape is being mirrored here on the side view okay so if I just press and hold the middle mouse button and press Z and left select solid shading you can see it's starting to look like a mask there's an awful lot of point pulling to be done here just to take the sharpness so you can try and select certain points and drag them in say the Y axis and the X axis just to take that sharp look from it and that's all I can say it's going to take a bit of pulling of points but they don't have to be pulled too far and we'll be adding a subdivision surface eventually and that will I'll just throw one on for the moment I'm just going to left click add modifier subdivision surface and allow us to view it in the you can see already just looks a little bit better if you go into edit mode 
okay he looks a little bit out of whack but it's gonna again it's gonna take a while i'm just gonna remove that subdivision surface tab back into edit mode okay i'm gonna leave it there for this tutorial i'm gonna start trying to pull the mask into a better shape but i'm not going to do any more than that so i'll talk to you next time thanks for watching goodbye hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series i'm going to continue with this modeling and i have applied or haven't applied i've actually just added a subdivision surface so if you come up to object modifiers and under add modifier left click come down to subdivision surface and just click that you can come down to the properties here and i have the views up to two so you can left click there just to put that at two and i have clicked optimal display i've also allowed us to view it in the edit mode so click that here okay and it's not looking too bad it takes time to pull the points into the right position you'll have a better view of your own piece when the head is modeled around so that's what i think i'm going to do now i'm just going to press three for side view i'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom out slightly i'm going to left select these points here and from this view i'm just going to press e to extrude and i'm just going to start dragging these up slowly and left click when i'm happy okay now i want to start flattening these out slightly so i can just form the head nice and easy as i'm going around i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate i'm going to press z and left select solid shading i want to start straightening these in just to take that bridge look off his forehead okay so again it's just a matter of pulling the points in a certain axis and in this case it's the y axis just select the vert vertex you want to drag and pull it in in one direction rather than pulling it out of out of alignment okay now again i'm just going to left select these faces or sorry these vertex vertices and i'm going to come over here i'm just going to drag these forward slightly i'm going to press e to extrude and again i'm just going to start extruding around and try and keep in line with the profile of the head where i imagine it is underneath that hair Okay, I'm going to press S over here to scale and just slightly scale it as he's coming up. Left click when I'm happy to lock that in position. Okay, come back here again and press E and extrude this up. And left click when I'm happy. Okay, what I want to do now is just again come back over here and start manipulating some of these points and just try and take completely take that bridge of the nose out of the shape and it's just a matter of slowly as you go okay i'm just going to press and hold shift and select all of these just drag them and i need to drag them back in the Y just slightly bring them down a little bit again it's a slow process it takes time I'm going to press 1 for front view I'm going to press and hold shift and reselect the rest of these Okay, I don't want that one selected. Okay, now I'm just going to press E to extrude again. 